Hey Model Maniacs, Dirk here, getting ready to do that all-important kit review so that you, the model junkie, can make an informed decision on what kits you want to buy. Today we're going way back, way, way back to I don't know exactly when, sometime in the 70s, uh, to look at this Mazda RX-3 by Entex. Um, this is a pretty old kit, um, but from what I can see, it's a pretty cool kit too. Um, I'm not going to lie to you, I don't know a lot about it, I just know it's the Mazda RX-3 with the, wank, the Wankel engine inside of it, okay? Um, it's, it's pretty neat. Um, this kit doesn't belong to me, it belongs to a friend of mine, so he allowed us to take a look at it and everything. Um, we'll take a look at the parts inside the box, but just so you know, uh, normally I open up all the sprues and we take a look at them. and. Uh, because it's not my kit, because this kit is for sale, uh, I'm not going to be able to open those bags, but we'll do our best to take a look through the plastic and see what we can do. Um, but it's a neat kit. It's got a picture of the model itself on the uh, box art here. It's a big box too. It measures in at about uh, 14 and a half by nine and a half, and it's about two and a half inches thick. Um, so it's a good size box for the time, really. Uh, the kit itself is a 120th scale, all right, so uh, it's kind of cool um, for you guys that like the bigger stuff. Um, so like I said, it comes, as you can see here, focus in on this here, you'll see we have opening hood, or should I say bonnet in this case, right? The hood opens, the doors open, the trunk opens, all, um, all kind of neat features. Uh, and something you don't see very often on model kits unless you do it yourself. Um, the side here gives us again the same name, the same picture, with a little bit of the story of the car itself. Okay. The sides are not anything spectacular, just like the front. Again, the side is the same thing on this side too. So, and there's nothing on the bottom. So the box is all impressive in size, but that's about it. Again, you gotta remember this is from the 70s, so uh, you know it is what it is. But uh, hang on, we're gonna take a look inside. So here we are looking at the inside of our box, and the first thing that comes to us is the instructions, which is printed on a regular full sheet page booklet, actually, um, eight and a half by 11. Um, it's printed in Japan. It's got blue ink to it, which is a little different than what we're used to. It tells us about the car itself with a picture of one on here. Uh, some building tips. Okay. Next page has got us so the sprues and the parts breakdown. I forgot to tell you that this kit comes with um, seven different sprues, two floating parts, uh, a bag of miscellaneous parts, all encompassing oh and a decal sheet with the stripes down here I'll show you that but all encompassing about hundred and ninety parts altogether uh, it's not a bad size kit um, and then it starts off um, with all the different steps you've got your grill build up okay assembling it to the body and look at this, this is kind of a neat thing, and I guess, again, because the door is open, you got an interior door skin, you've got an exterior door skin, and it shows you all the parts to put that together. Door handles are separate parts, not molded in, that's kind of cool. All right, again, we'll go through, you know, I'm not going to go through everything, but you'll see, it tells you how to open the hood, hook up the hood and everything, the parts are, you know, the detail is pretty decent. Okay, I think this will be be a really cool kit to build, and uh, definitely a novelty because you're not seeing this a lot of places. Look at the seat. Look at all the parts that go into making the seat. It's like about six parts just to build the seat. One seat. Pretty neat. Okay. So that is that. It looks like it's about 15 steps to build the kit. Uh, well, 16 when you assemble the body to the, the chassis and then decaling it. On the back, it's got other Entex kits. The 10-speed bicycle, the Honda engine, uh, blah, 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 blah. It's like kind of neat. We have this kit in our stash right now. We're going to do a review on that a little later, so hang on for that. Okay, this is a kind of a neat looking kit here, the, the race, the race about. Okay, 
So that's that. And then we're going to look inside the box. Again, I didn't take it out of the bags because it's not my kit and it's going for sale. So the new owner might not want it to be uh, opened. So our first bag is the clear parts. Okay. So you got your wind, your front windshield, your rear windshield with the molded in, um, let's get this out of the way, the molded in um, defroster there. Okay, you can see that. Your side vent windows, I believe the headlights and such. And it's got some clear blue parts and some red parts. Okay, kind of neat. All right. Next screw, as you can see, it's all molded in yellow. You've got your air cleaner cover, uh, parts for the hood hinges, the hood itself, the outdoor, outside door skins, the front grill section. All right, possibly the firewall, the deck lid. All hinges for all those parts so everything opens and closes the chrome parts okay not gonna go through all of them like I said a lot of little parts here vents and um, grills bezels bumpers trim rings pedals carburetor like maybe the valve covers, windshield wipers, it looks like, and I believe the tail light assembly. Okay, this next screw is molded in black. Two screws here, actually. You got the engine, which is in a dark gray, metallic gray type color. You got the rims, the engine halves. Looks like some nice detail there. Front of the engine. Yeah, I was a mechanic for several years and I don't think I've ever, we learned about Wankel engines, but I actually never worked on one. Um, there is, if you can see that, the rear seat, you can see the detail there. Oh, it's kind of got a glare, sorry about that. Actually, it looks like there's actually a texture right there in the middle too. So it's not only molded, but it's textured, which is very sharp. Yeah. Speakers. Your interior doors, the door skins themselves, nice. All right. All right. Some miscellaneous parts here. Some pins. Springs. Don't know what that is. I think it might have fallen into here. The wire, the hose, because this hasn't been opened, still stapled shut. The uh, axle, okay. Tires, I'm assuming the rubber, okay. Again, all still sealed and stapled to the carton. One last sprue, okay. You've got your seat backs, front seat backs, your front seats. The bottom seats, again, molded, textured. See that through the glare. That's why I don't like doing these with the plastic in place, but nothing I can do. Your rear end, the um, interior back seat walls, dashboard. Notice it's a left-hand drive car. I didn't catch that before, I should have. That's cool, don't see many of those. At least not here in the States. Okay. Visors, sun, uh, sun visors. Steering wheel. Okay. Pulleys and stuff like that. Very neat. And then there's the body. As you can see, the body back out see compared to my hand it's a nice size okay molded in yellow 
a uh, couple mold lines going here down the uh, the, the uh, back side here little sharp edges but nothing that can't be fixed up you got the molded in there's that Dotson logo there nice size car okay a couple injector marks on the inside no big deal all right cool beans very nice the chassis detail built into the floor okay the engine compartment pretty much just black but possible detail possibilities are there and the underside okay and you got this nice detail here all this is all grand and good and then you have this pressed into it I hate when they do that but a little bit of sanding that'll come out for you you can see the lines molded in wheel well for the uh, spare tire and that is it um, decals were in here all it does is come with two different striping options a black stripe a white stripe and the RX3 plates that's it for decals on this but that is the kit. This is what it is. If anybody has seen this before, I had never seen this before, so it's actually kind of cool to get a look at this. Um, again, I'd never seen it. Not a car that I myself like. I'm more of a muscle car guy, but it really is kind of unique. Um, I'm sure there's a lot of people out there that would be interested in something like this. Um, again, it's not mine. It is for sale. Um, at the moment, I don't know what the price is for it, so uh, hit me up at the email below. And I'll see about finding out the pricing for you if you're interested. Uh, of course, that price would include shipping. And then, uh, but uh, that's it. So I hope this helped. I hope this gives you an idea of what's in a box. If you happen to like this kit, if you see them on eBay or any other of those auction houses or whatever, um, you see the prices, now you're going to know what it's inside. Is it worth your time and effort? Um, I hope that helps. So uh, until next time, guys, be strong.